around the sun. There it is. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Let's do the fresh stuff. Um, I've got my meal plan. Here we go. The dark chocolate batch. I'm ready to go in the oven and the little pretzels there. Somebody's just left a comment in um, one of our Florida blogs saying, how do we keep affording to go on holiday? The reason we then started to go more often was because we found ways to do it a lot cheaper. Good morning, welcome back to a sleepy weekend vlog. Actually, I'm not too bad. Um, it's We're just waiting for the sunrise. We're gonna go and see if we can catch it out on the common. I think we might be a little bit late. I can see it's starting to get pink, so I think it's rising. Anyway, we're gonna shoot over to the common for an early morning walk. We're just all wrapping up, and I've got my shopping delivery. I've ordered online for the first time in quite a while, um, so it's Christmas anyway. Um, it's not actually been that long. <laughs> feels just a long time since Christmas. Got a shopping delivery coming this morning. It's a recipe idea for a cookie. I've had it in my mind. I had it in my mind one night and I couldn't sleep. I was so excited and I've written it down. I want to try that. So I'll be doing that today. I think there was something else I wanted to do. We're going out for lunch with Aid's parents. So we'd be doing that. Um, it's a work day. So there's also work going on, but um, we're going to try and make it a fun day despite me having to do loads of work. I've got loads of editing today. But I love doing that, so it doesn't feel like a chore at all. Anyway, I hope you're well. hope you've had a great week. And come and have a walk with us. Come on to the common. Let's see if we can see that sunrise. Give it a try. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not that solid. We're going to walk into Wonderland. Oh, it's like Narnia. These were mine. We played hide and seek for hours. Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydream You're not coming back this way. Go careful around here, it's like a little ice rink. Just stay to the sides. Sorry? No, here. Just stay to the sides. Aircraft from Heathrow. You're right there. Don't fall over. I think this is a lovely walk. Look over here. Is that ice over there or is that tarmac? We found the sun. There it is. Yeah, it looks beautiful. It does. It? Look at that. That's, I was gonna say snowy with the icy woodland. We're going to do a couple of laps, aren't we, of yes, the runway. We are. Have we worked out it's like three miles if we do that or something? Yeah, I think, yeah, give or take. Yeah, so we're going to do that. The fog in the background is so cool, isn't it? It is. Got a couple of people walking their dog behind us. They can't turn around. We were so lucky to see that sunrise. Oh, I know, yeah. Yeah, just about Considering made it. how foggy it is behind, it's actually foggy over the runway. Is it? Yeah. There's oh, just, okay. It's Let's just look. like, you look around here, there's no fog. No, I know. So there's just like a strip behind us. It's blue in front. Yeah. There, just over the runway, in a then you've got the sun to the other side, and then if you continue around, it's really blue. All clear, all clear. There you go, there's the sun. I wish it would make the place feel warmer. <laughs> My legs are really stinging. <laughs> fluffy coffees they actually look like they've got marshmallow on top that was one seriously cold walk my eye makeup's all kind of ran a bit when my eyes were really watery it's so sunny out now though it's beautiful i'm so glad we caught most of that sunrise it was just such a lovely walk we only did the one lap in the end um we did um three and a half miles actually we did some back and forth sort of filming and just having a bit of fun taking lots of photographs it was really really nice and now to get on with video editing, although Morrison's is due any time. I find it strange that they couldn't substitute my Savers cherry tomatoes. I'm sure there must have been other types of cherry tomatoes or tomatoes that they could have substituted them with. But it's the only thing I seem to be missing. 
My morning has not gone to plan. But Morrison's is here. Let's go and see what they've got for me. That was so cold. I had to put my coat on to take in the delivery. Those poor delivery drivers. Um, female driver again today. Haven't seen a female driver in over a year. So that was really nice to see. And she was lovely. Um, reason I haven't shot in Lidl this week is because um, I don't want to take up the time to go over there, to be honest. Um, we've got a really, really busy work week and I want to work weekends as well and it just takes an evening of my work time and I really, really need to focus on work this week. So that is the reason why I've done this. Plus also I've paid for a year of deliveries with Morrison's so I want to use them as well. And there's times like Christmas was really handy. Um, I like to use it when we've been on holiday. I can um, um, book my shopping for when we get back. So there are times when it's really, really convenient. You get a lot more of the opening, you get a lot more of the delivery slots. So I'm happy to pay for the year, but um, I think it's 65 pounds now or something like that. But I wanna make sure that I obviously get my money's worth out of them. And so today was just perfect. Sunday morning, I don't have to go shopping. We haven't actually food shopped, um, done a weekly food shop for I think my last one was the 21st of December something like that which was before Christmas and today it is the 22nd of January we've obviously bought milk and I did knit to Lidl last week and we got we've got like the sausages we've got the sauerkraut a big bag of potatoes um but we haven't actually done a proper food shop so I'm going to show you what we've got this week and this week's shopping came to 54 pounds a little bit more but i've got a few extra bits the other thing as well i can't always get everything in lidl so there's some items here that i've stocked up on that i can't get in my little shop and that's another reason why sometimes it's quite nice to go elsewhere and get a few bits and pieces as much as i love going to lidl as much as it saves me money um they don't always sell everything that i want i have made a couple of boo-boos though let's do the fresh stuff um they always seem to put in something extra this week i have got extra grapes they've accidentally put in two lots of wonky grapes they did that last time as well so i'm seeing louis this week um so i will keep one for him I've got peppers limes i use these for salad dressing um and marinades broccoli two lots of rocket baby rocket salad um it's one for 80p or two for a pound so it makes sense to get two corn on the cob milk sour cream for a white chili chicken dish which i might do not this week but next um cucumber courgette celery i use celery for lunches and soups and onions and like i said they obviously couldn't substitute my savers cherry tomatoes for anything else which i am a bit gutted about so we're gonna have to get some tomatoes in the week i've got some chicken um i just like the skinless boneless thighs soft cheese i was menu planning and i have found a really really cool recipe that i want to do with you coming up it's going to be um stuffed cheese and jalapeno chicken it looks really good um yogurt these were on offer as well that was the cheapest natural fat-free yogurt a couple of um chopped tomatoes some um, shower gel for louis eggs these are my boo-boos i looked at the price i didn't look at the size i thought i was buying a normal size loaf for a pound i got excited and the honey i can't remember i use this for cooking this cheaper honey the local honey um, that we buy the expensive stuff um, I wouldn't put that in cakes for example but that can um, these were on offer we really like this French onion soup AIDS pickle um, sauce I should say fruity sauce um, mouthwash these are going to go to my dad's when we see him in a few weeks uh, fish fingers there for a recipe for next weekend's vlog vegetable stock dark soy sauce cider vinegar white kidney beans for my white chili chicken these are some items as well that i can't get in places like um little my chip seasoning i can't get my onion granules my vitas i'm out of we use those for lunches rice and um we like this on salad for lunches and these i'm going to take to louis as well they have one pound something and he can cook them from frozen it's just perfect student food and we got AIDS Pepsi. And that's it for 54 quid. Doesn't look that much actually, does it for 54 pounds, but that's our shopping. That'll keep us going for quite a while.
try and warm up now everything's packed away um i've got my meal planner for the week so many of you have been saying that the meal planning has helped thank you so much um joe um, sent me a lovely email the other day and it was just so lovely to read so thank you so much joe um reading that this morning really made my day it really did um so meal planning let's talk meal planning i'm going to share my meal plan I was watching somebody's vlog the other day, one of the big YouTubers in the States, and she did something really nice. She was sharing her meals for the week and she said, everybody leave a comment and say at least one of the meals that you're having this week. And then it would be really nice for other people to look through and read and it might inspire some ideas because some people get really stuck. I know I used to get in a bit of a rut when the kids were younger and you're so limited on what the whole family eats and you end up just keep repeating the same meals over and over and that's when you get bored of cooking. I don't find that now because it's just Ada and I. We eat anything and everything. So I'm always trying new recipes and I love it. So I'm probably at my best time for planning and cooking meals than I've ever been. I am just having so much fun with it but it's a lot easier for me. So everybody leave a comment and say at least one meal that you're making this week and then everybody can dive into the comments and have a little look and it might actually give you some ideas. And if you see somebody else's comment of what they're making and you think, oh my gosh, I'm going to try that, then leave a comment and just let them know that you've, they've inspired you as well. I think that would be a lovely thing to do. Um, so my meal plan this week looks like this and we are going to have pea soup tomorrow purely because we're going out for a roast dinner today so i try and balance things that pea soup that i made the other day i did vlog it i'll leave um the link down below in case you didn't see it it was so good and we've been very very good with our meals lately balancing it out and in the last couple of weeks i've managed to lose five pounds and that's from cutting out the snacks in the evening and balancing my meals so I'm finding that by having my coffee in the morning I'm having oatmeal and berries or something late lunch when I say late, late lunch between sort of like one and two usually and then I'm having my evening meal and it's going really well and I, I'm I look the same anyway I must admit but it's trying on my dresses that I want to wear in Florida. It's how my clothes fit. Like I put a dress on the other day that would usually be really loose, but it took two of us to get the dress on for me to hold the zip together. My bras are digging in, my jeans. I'm actually back in jeans again this week because they just felt so uncomfortable. And I don't want to feel uncomfortable in my clothes. So um, for me, it's just feeling comfortable again. So ha by having a couple of homemade soups, in the week I find is a really good balance. Tuesday we are having frittata and salad. I bought some salady bits there. I might do some like potatoes or something with it as well depending on how I'm feeling. Wednesday ratatouille. We are loving ratatouille lately. Thursday we are out. It's Louis 21st and we're taking him to a nice steakhouse which again is why I've balanced out the meal plan by having um, veggie meals as well. And also having lower calorie meals because I know we're going for it on Thursday. This is 21st, you've got to. Potato curry on Friday. I've been doing, and I don't think I've ever recorded it. I do a really, really good curry. It's almost like, you know, the Chinese style curry that we have in the UK. And I put raisins in it. It's just so delicious. But I'm doing a potato curry. Saturday, I'm going to be doing, this will be in next week's vlog, the toasties that I wanted to do today, but now we're going out for lunch. So we're going to do some special toasties and I'll probably do like um, a soup as well to have in the evening. And then Sunday, I'm excited. I am going to try the jalapeno cheddar stuffed chicken and corn. So that be in and up, that might be the weekend after. I'm not sure yet for when you see that. So that's my meal plan. So nicely balanced lunches. We've got porridge and berries. We've got some salads. I've got the mackerel. We've got um the rivetas that i bought i need some tomatoes we like rivetas with soft cheese and tomatoes on there um so yeah that will be lunches this week as well yogurt and berries as well we've got so we've got a nice thing i'm i do actually find by planning lunches as well really helps helps with budget but it also helps with staying and eating cleaner eating healthier 
um, and we're getting back out on our walks aid went out nipped out a few times yesterday i think a couple of times in the day as well as we did our early morning walk he managed to do seven miles yesterday but we've done three and a half miles already today so that's good and we plan to walk to and from the pub where we're having dinner as well lunch today so that's my meal plan let me know what's on your meal plan this week leave a couple of comments and um, give us some ideas of what you're eating right my morning like I said hasn't gone to plan um, just trouble with the computer trying to get things and it's now quarter past 11 and I have still got an hour and 15 minutes of editing this class so I need to crack on with that and I haven't even started on tonight's vlog that's due to go up and we're going out for dinner at two it's the worst possible time it's right in the middle of my day to then have a roast dinner and then come back and work I just wish we weren't going I just I hate making plans sometimes for the weekend when I'm so busy because like now we've had a hiccup in the day and um, yeah I could really do with the work time to be honest with you um, I've managed to get that class edited I am so pleased we are going out in 40 minutes 35 40 minutes i'm going to try and get the vlog i realize i've edited half the vlog for sundays today so i'm pleased about that i'm going to try and finish that i realize i haven't eaten it's quarter past one so i'm just heating up some leftover homemade soup um and then i can just quickly go out have dinner and come back somebody's just left a comment in um one of our florida vlogs saying how do we keep affording to go on holiday um it's a comment we get asked all the time and one of the things is working seven days and pretty much seven evenings a week just never never stops oh and by the way aid has been an absolute darling today and whilst i've been doing all this he's been trying to back up my website trying to sort that for me he's been doing the washing he's just walking poppy he's just been doing all the jobs he's just so lovely and another way is by being so frugal you've seen how i food shop that lot's gonna last me a good couple of weeks um, I hadn't food shopped for three weeks before that and I made homemade soup the other day this is um, it's actually too, not too much stock it's mostly vegetables and pasta my meals cost me so so little and I then keep like this is just a tiny amount of leftover but like now that's perfect for lunch so um, I'm getting very good at batch cooking very good at keeping leftovers we have so little waste in this house um, and that really, really does save us money. A big factor is, as well, we are used to paying for four. Our kids aren't here. That saved us a huge amount. And we got rid of the car last year. So we are a one-car family. So we've had lots and lots of cutbacks in the last year. It is nearly ten to two. Table's booked for two. We're going to get back to get a move on, aren't we? You're going to have to get a move on. I need to get a move on. I know that I haven't been who I was I am supposed to be the one you can trust I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright Cause I know that you deserve much more than this If you give me one I got literally a minute down the road and I realised I'd forgotten to start uploading the class that I'd been working on all morning. I thought it could upload whilst I'm gone. Um, so I've come home and that's uploaded. Uh, lunch was really lovely. It was obviously roast dinner being Sunday. So I'm just watching and waiting for something else to finish working. On, um, and I had turkey roast which was lovely. And Aid had the lamb which he loved too. And then we ended up with dessert. I had a really, really lovely peach tartata, which was so nice. It was warm and it had a bit of clotted um, ice cream cream on top. And Aid went for an Eaton Mess Sunday, which he loved as well. Um, he said it was really nice and ice creamy. Um, so that was a very nice lunch treated to us by Aid's mum and dad. Um, they've been wanting to take us out for lunch for ages and we're just always so busy. So it was nice to catch up with them properly today. And now I'm back at my desk. I am trying to upload tonight's vlog. It's supposed to be up in an hour. And naturally everything has gone super slow, which is a pain. 
um, so it might be up late, but my class is pretty much ready to go, so that's good news. Oh, I'm tired. I am so behind with finishing off this vlog. I meant to add it on and I never got around to it. I really, really wanted to share this cookie recipe with you. It's something I've had, like I said, it's an idea I've had in my head. So I really want to finish this vlog now and um, do the recipe. It's, the idea is we're gonna have a pretzel and then the cookie and then dip it in chocolate. So we'll see if it works. I've got some pretzels here, salted pretzels. I have got self-raising flour margarine, golden syrup, chocolate chips, bars of chocolate, and I need some caster sugar as well. Ooh, I need to stock up on caster sugar. I'm low. Um, right, I am using my, where is it, my regular cookie recipe. I have it hanging over there usually. Um, recipe is amazing, so I know it'll work. I'm also gonna be making up a double batch. I'm gonna be making up some with white chocolate. That was the idea I had in my head. I think I might actually add some peanut butter to that as well. That's smooth, I could really do it with a crunchy. Add some crunchy peanut butter to that. And then I'm gonna be making a vegan batch with dark chocolate as well. So going over to see our daughter tomorrow and I'm gonna take them with us. So I'm laying out my pretzels. And just to be clear, these are salted pretzels, not like cheese and chive or anything. Obviously the little broken ones you can eat. I'm creaming together the margarine and sugar. That's the dairy-free margarine I'm using. And then we're gonna mix in the syrup. I'm queen of guesstimating. And I buy the shop's own brand of golden syrup these days. I don't buy the branded one. It's just as good. And I'm mixing in the self-raising flour. Oh my goodness, this cookie batter is so delicious. You need to be able to um, sort of push, um, form your little cookies into little balls. So if it's a bit on the wet side, which mine is, you just need to add a little bit more flour. You should be able to roll it in your hands without it going sticky. I've never added peanut butter to this recipe before. I've split it into half and half. And I think I might do a little bit more than that because I want to taste the peanut butter. There, two spoons and I'm gonna mix that in. Holly's not a fan of peanut butter. So I will only be adding this to the white chocolate cookies. If it's a bit more wet, I will add more flour as well. And as you can see, now I've added the flour, you can roll that in your hands and it's not sticky. I've mixed in the peanut butter into this one. I've licked the spoon, it's so delicious. The cookie batter and the peanut butter. And I've added the chocolate chips in and I'm gonna mix all that and then form them into little cookie balls. Whilst I mix this, I'll um, talk more about affording to go to Disney as well because it is a question that we get asked a lot. And I seem to just respond and answer the same all the time. We never used to do it multiple times a year. We generally, our trips always used to be every two to three years. And then as the kids got older, we started going more often. Um, I think for three years in a row, we did a four weeks trip over um, for a year. Um, but that's all come down to really, really hard work. Um, I do tend to work minimum 12 hours a day. I generally work seven days a week. Um, usually the only time I take time off work is if we've got plans like to do something with the kids or to go on holiday. I don't ever have a day at home and do nothing. Um, I'm always, always working, day and evening. If we go on a car journey, I carry on working, I take something to do in the car. And it's my life has always been like that. Um, generally up by sort of like five, half five in the morning. But with regards to our holidays, the only reason we then started to go more often was because we found ways to do it a lot cheaper. Um, I've got a savings video that I think has already gone up by now, just like day-to-day -day savings, how we managed to save money at home. So I will leave a link to that. I also want to sit down with Aid and actually do a proper video and talk about um, how we get our trips cheaper. 
because that is the only reason we managed to go three times in one year last year. Um, it's because of the cost of our trips. Our trips don't cost the same amount as most other people's. For example, our January trip last year cost us just over £1,600. Um, and that's because we've got Disney annual passes. We get them at the DVC rate as well. Um, so the last lot we bought, I think it was 600 and something, just over 500 pounds each, something like that. Um, then we've got DVC, which we bought in 2018. So every single time that you see us staying in Disney, we're not actually paying for those rooms. We've paid up for 50 years. Um, so we don't, we're not actually, it's not costing us, we're not paying cash. That's why we always stay in the Dis Disney Deluxe Resorts, because of our DVC membership. So that doesn't cost us money. Flights, we collect miles, everything I do goes through a Dis um, Virgin credit card. And we collect miles, we get, um, they cost us, every time you see us go, going to the States, we're traveling in premium and it's cost us 500 pounds each and that's it. So if you think about it, annual passes are sorted for the year. Disney, Disney accommodation we're not paying for and flights are costing us 500 pounds each. So you can see why it's costing us so much less money. Um, and then we're just not extravagant on our holidays. Um, we did do Universal with Louis in June, but you didn't see us doing any other things on the other debt trips. We didn't do Universal with the family, we didn't do SeaWorld, we didn't do Discovery Cove. Um, we're just really, really careful. Um, we're not overspendy in restaurants generally. We might have a couple of treaty ones, but we don't go mad. Um, we're just really, really careful. So that kind of makes sense why we've been able to go a few times plus also those trips were booked over time and I've said that a few times as well um, they the first trip was booked in 2019 that was the one with our kids in June so that the trip the um, Universal side and the flights were paid in 2019 which obviously then got pushed to last year the June trip was actually booked three years beforehand not the June sorry the October we booked it all with the family um, like as far as like the villa was concerned, but that was split between three families So that really brought the price down. So again, if you think of our October trip Aid and I used our annual passes again. Our flights cost us 500 pounds each Disney was all paid for and then we split a villa between the three of us So it was again a really really cheap trip Plus the biggest thing for us as well is we've been used to paying for four of us and now the kids have left home It's just the two of us so we're suddenly used to paying for four adults, four of everything, four meals, and suddenly it's just two. So that's made a massive difference to our trips. We've done things like got rid of the car, so we're just sharing a car between us. And we are super, super frugal at home. Um, I make everything from scratch. I buy lots of second hand. We're just really, really careful. We don't go out loads. We just really enjoy our holidays, and we've just found a really good way of making them cheaper for us so that's how we've managed to do it so I hope that's answered some questions anyway I'm stood here with cookie dough in my hand by the way if you've got any questions please do ask I know I've, we've been asked for um, a video on DVC which we need to do um, you know what it's like though you always have all these ideas but not enough time that's definitely the case in this house anyway um, right I'm rolling up these are Holly's ones, the cookie dough balls. And I am placing them on the pretzel like that. Okay, so the pretzel is going to be the base. These are inspired by the, are they called Take Fives? The um, Reese's um, treat. We had them in Target last year, they were so good. Um, we hadn't had them before and we bought one bag and then we really regretted it when we came home. So we're going to be looking for some of those this time. Um, these are going to be really cute. So I'm just going to leave them in the oven then for about 12 minutes. And then when they've cooled down, we're going to dip them in chocolate. But um, let me know your saving tips for your holidays. What do you do that saves you money? Did I say already? I can't remember if I did. All of our trips, our three trips last year, the three of them together, still cost less than one of our big family trips for the four of us previously. That's how much of a difference it's made. Huge difference. 
And then I'm going to give them a little bit of a press. Oh, that one's got stuck. And I've only got one hand to do it with because I'm holding the camera with the other. Um, they will spread. They are made with self-raising flour. Whoops. Oh, you can see the preps on the bottom. So they will spread. I think I need two hands to do this. I'm just going to pat it gently in each one. There we go. The dark chocolate batch are ready to go in the oven. And the little pretzels there are pressed on the base. And the first tray of these, just in case I got the cookies muddled up. The others I did two crosses on. These ones I've just done the one, as you can see, with the fork. So I know which is which. I've just made the most amazing discovery. This is the peanut butter cookie dough. This is a pretzel. Dipping it in here with some of the white chocolate chip. That is something else. You've got the crunchiness and saltiness of the pretzel. You then bite into the chocolate chip. You've got the sweetness of the cookie dough. And again, the saltiness of the peanut butter. The different textures, the different flavors. That is so delicious. That's so good. I think if I were to make them again, I would press two pretzels into the bottom as one just isn't enough to give them oh sugar i forgot they would just come out the oven they're really hot um but yeah i definitely needed two pretzels underneath so i had some more of the peanut butter cookie dough because i only did those on a smaller tray so let's do these with two pretzels there you go and see how these go pop those back in for 12 minutes i'm now going to melt my chocolate i've just popped some water into a pan with a little glass dish and i am going to break up my chocolate and put it into the bowl I'll do the dark first so that Holly's then is mixed with ours and I'll do our white chocolate afterwards. The cookies with the two pretzels definitely worked out better. Not quite as tidy as these ones, but at least they've got a bit more pretzel in them. We ended up with a decent amount of cookies. And that was a double batch that I've just made. And then we'll dip the chocolate or the cookie into the chocolate like that and leave it to dry on the grease proof paper the dark chocolate cookies are all done now i'm going to leave them to harden and dry on there and i'm now just melting the white chocolate 100 grams was the perfect amount for that batch these cookies are amazing i quite like the ones where i've used a little bit of the dark chocolate from previous and then just thrown in the white they look really cool and then I've saved a couple because I prefer them without chocolate, so they're my ones. I highly, highly recommend giving this a go. They were so, so good. I'll leave the recipe down below. Um, really, really tasty. Anyway, I'm going to get back to work. I hope you have an amazing week. Leave a comment and say hello. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.